Jack Films here and um, decided to bring this back. I decided to bring this back because it's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm actually kind of interested in this certain challenge going around right now on social media. This is not only a response to the YouTube channel Reckless Eating, but this is also sort of a response challenge to Brad Tries on Stone Gremlin Productions on YouTube, the Cinema Snob and so on. They came up with something that I saw on my feed and I just had to try it. As you guys know, I'm a big sucker for fast food chains and different combinations of stuff. I've tried a bunch of these different unofficial products, you know, the McGang Bangs, the McTen35s, different stuff like that. I have yet to try the Big Mac Whopper combination that they put out during World Peace Day, but I figured um, I'd follow suit with those guys and do what is called, I think, the Big Mac Crunch Wrap Challenge. Basically, you have to combine a Crunchwrap from Taco Bell and a Big Mac from McDonald's and put the two together. Now, I did see Brad's video and I did see uh, Reckless Eating's video, and I felt like the challenge was a little bit tame because that Whopper is looking kind of tiny, so I decided I'm gonna up the ante. This will probably kill me. And what we're going to do is instead of taking the Big Mac, we're going to use a Burger King Whopper. God help us all. So yeah, we're basically gonna put together a Whopper and a crunch wrap to see if it tastes any good. There's also gonna be a little extra taste test on the side just for the hell of it because I saw it uh, when I was out and I figured I'd try that as well. So the first things we obviously need are our crunch wrap and our Whopper with cheese. I usually get cheese on my Whopper and we have to put the two together. So it's gonna be kind of tricky to do, but let's see if we can do it in a quick little snap. Oh. Good God, what have we done? We've created a monster! Oh! But yeah, this is freaking enormous. Look at this shit. Oh my God. And it's spilling all over the damn place. I mean, it's Taco Bell. What do you expect? And my bowels are going to hurt after this, but it already looks amazing. I don't even need to smell it. It just looks great. You've got just the big, the freaking Whopper and the crunch wrap, and I did put hot sauce from Taco Bell on this, and I like both chains. In fact, I'm eating more Taco Bell and Burger King than I am McDonald's right now. I kind of got sick of it, so uh, we're going to give this a big, giant bite. Oh, my God. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I'm about to eat this, this atomic radiated cholesterol killer of a burger. I thought the clogger at Universal Studios at Krusty Burger was bad. This takes the cake, so, oh god. I'm gonna, okay, if I die from this, uh, please send my gaming collection to Bradley Dunn of Lost Media Junkie, and god help us all. Oh, god. It's leaking deception. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta take a second bite out of this. This is a this is a take two. Mmm. Oh my god. That's actually damn good. <laughs> Whoever thought of this, especially the Big Mac one, I think it was those guys. Genius. But I just topped you. This thing is actually really damn good, so. Um, would I recommend it? If you want a alternative to drugs and alcohol, um, and basically anything else that could probably kill you, this will do the trick. <laughs> it might take a while, it might clog your arteries and give you massive compulsive amounts of problems in the toilet, but it'll do. Mm. The ketchup actually mixes really well with the hot sauce. I'm surprised. 
I do like Taco Bell fries. I like both fries. Put some fries on here, it might be good, but... Wow, yeah, I'm gonna give this about a 9. This thing's amazing. It's gonna cost you a bit. Like, this... Well, this sandwich right here, Canadian-wise, was probably about $15. Um, was it worth the price? Once in my life, yes. I think everybody should try this. But it's good. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's damn good. Um, so there's that. That's the Big Crunch Whopper Challenge. A step up from the Big Mac. I do like my Big Macs, but I wanted to try something different. But that's not the only item I bought. So when I was at Taco Bell, I was obviously doing the Crunch Wrap uh, Whopper um, challenge. But I did see on um, on the screen on the display where the prices are. There's another item called the Corsada. You know, what? I've totally forgotten what the hell it's called, so I'll just put it here. Um, it's a brand new item at Taco Bell, just opened, but apparently it's some sort of stuffed cheese taco shell. Now, we've had our Doritos Locos tacos, we've had all kinds of different shit that they've come up with. I think they had a Cheetos taco at one point, I can't remember. But, we have this item right here. It is a Quesa whatever, croissant, Jimmy, um, taco. It's a cheese, stuffed crust cheese taco. It looks presentable, um, and this will less likely to kill me than the, uh, Big Crunch Whopper. Um, but let's give this a go. I'm always up for trying something new at restaurants. In fact, there's one item at Burger King I want to try at some point, which looks really good. So, let's give this a bite and see, um, how this one is compared to the Big Crunch Whopper. Hmm. It's surprisingly lighter. Um, you can tell there is, like, the cheese in there. It's got that flavor. You know what it needs? And I hope I have extra. Yep, I do. It needs hot sauce. Most Taco Bell needs hot sauce. And, uh, did I still have that green shit that they, they say that they have now? They said that in the Stick of Truth game. Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Mm. This is going to go on record as the messiest episode of the show. Because my floor is covered in drips of this shit. It's so moist. Mm. It's good. I like it. So, those those two items, take them for what you will. I don't know if this is available in the United States. This is sort of a Canada only. But... This was sort of just a last minute thing I wanted to do. I wanted to give it a try, put a video out there. So let me know what you think of this monstrosity and this little thing in the comments below if you've tried it. I'm going to sit here and hopefully try to consume it all. It's going to kill me, um, but at least I will sleep well because tomorrow I have to do some more work. So until the next video, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off saying, it's alive. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Oh, in the name of God! Now I know what it feels like to be God!